Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Uh, this morning, I'd like to treat a topic I want to call pictures in the water. Now, there's a very interesting and very powerful story in the book of Genesis, chapter 30, 41 to 42, um, 41 and 42, where, you know, Jacob, after w telling Laban that, listen, I want to leave, and I want to leave with my wages. I've worked for 14 years for you. I've worked hard enough, and it's time for me now to leave. 14 years plus, I've done a lot of labor. So why don't you allow me to, um, to leave? And I need my wages. And uh, there was an arrangement, and that arrangement was on a particular kind, okay? A certain flock reproducing, and when they reproduce, they reproduce, um, what do you call it, a particular uh, uh, spotted, or freckled or whatever it is. Now, the Bible says then Laban tried a very fast move. And the move of Laban was to, uh, listen, I, I'm going to play a fast one on Jacob. And that's what he did. But you know, Jacob showed him that he's the master of the art of deception. Now, that, but that's curious thing about there. Now, the Bible said, now when uh, Laban brings the, the uh, he realized that this flock, they are weak. He tries to give them to, to to Jacob. And so Jacob changed the, the ball game. And this was how he, he changed the ball, ball game. The Bible said he, he took some uh, rods, skinned the rods, and placed the rods in the watering trough in such a way that when the flock came to, to, to drink, now what they saw in the, in, the, in the water was what they began. They began to reproduce after that in terms of color, the color of their skin. And they began to reproduce after that. So when the strong ones come, he pushes them to it, then he puts the rods in there. Then the strong ones reproduce after their kind. And when the weak ones come, uh, so at the end of the day, uh, Jacob had the stronger uh, cattle and the flock in terms of the sheep and the goats. Now, the interesting thing about this is that he put certain things in the water or he painted a picture for those flock to, uh, for that flock, particular flock, to reproduce after that. So what the flock saw was what they reproduced. Remember, I said, what the flock saw was what they reproduced. Now the Bible says something about it. The Bible calls us, we are the sheep of his pasture. We are the sheep of his pasture. So you know, sometimes God describes us as like flock. We are the flock. I mean, the pastors are shepherds, and shepherds, they, they look after the flock of God, the flock of Jesus Christ. Now here is the principle, and it's very, very interesting. You'll be very surprised. So what we see is what we reproduce. The picture before us is what we reproduce. And you'll be very, very, very surprised. I have found time and time again, people who come from abusive homes end up abusive. So you'll be surprised to find out that what we see is what we reproduce. So somebody was raped, that person, the tendency for that person to also to become a rapist. In terms of, or somebody was sexually molested, a young boy was sexually molested by a man. So, you know, he might also want to perpetuate that particular thing. What you see, the picture before you, is what you reproduce. And therefore, it is very, very imperative as parents. You need to be careful the kind of picture you are painting before your kids. Because that's what they will reproduce. What they see is what they reproduce. Yeah, and and it's, it's very, very simple. I have a very funny story. It's a very interesting story. My mom used to bake bread and all those things. So when we're dealing with bread in my house, what we do is that we, we break quite heavy lumps. Now, but my wife, you know, sit at the table and always, you know, they'll cut the, the bread nicely in slices. I remember we were married, and then I said I needed some bread. And then, you know, she, she performed surgery on the, on, the, on the bread. Very, very thin slices. And she brought me, and I said, what's this? She said, it's bread. And I said to her, no, 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 no. This is not bread. And I said to her, Jesus said we shouldn't. Uh, cut bread. We should break bread. So I went to the kitchen, dumped my fingers in the bread, broke quite a large chunk, and I can, and she looked at me and she shook her head. You know what? 
My background was speaking for me. Her background was speaking for her. What you see is what you reproduce. Please, I mean, don't, don't take this too far. Now I deal with slices, nice slices, so, you know, reformation has come to town. But guess what? What you see is what you reproduce. So we have to be very careful the picture before us. And we have to be very careful. Parents, you need to be very careful the kind of picture you're painting for your kids. Because with time, they'll produce it. If you paint pictures of love, pictures of talking to each other, and, uh, and not venting your anger, or not venting your spleen uh, against each other loudly, and fighting and quarreling before your kids, that's what they'll see. But if you do this, then they'll think it is the normal thing to do. If you're an, a husband, an abusive man, that's how your sons are going to rise up. Either they're going to rise up totally rejecting the picture of manhood, or they might also think that to be abusive, to be authoritative, and put your foot down, crush your, your, your wife under the, the, the sole of your feet, that's the picture before them. What's the picture? At the same time, if you're a woman who is very, very, very cantankerous, you know, contentious, and you're always in flame, when the husband says, uh, 1, John 3, 16, for God's love, the one, that your daughter might rise up, or daughter might think that that is the way for womanhood. And that is the path that she would be. So she might be pursuing that path and replicating that particular character of yours in the future. No wonder my grandmother said to me, before you marry anybody, go to the house. See how the mother behaves. That's how she's going to be. So you know one thing? I found out, and I found out something very, very important. The pitcher in the water. The water is the mirror that is reflecting something. The picture we paint for our children and for generations to come. And this is also true for we who call ourselves men of God. What's the picture we're painting? It's very important. The picture in the water. See you later.